Hello everyone, Golden Nova here, and welcome to Prog Pulls. I'm joined by the illustrious Noah Jenk, uh, who is fresh off of an experience at the North American World Championship Qualifier, uh, where you went completely undefeated with uh, Frog Heroes, right? Yeah, man, I killed it. And by it, I mean any chances I have of any legitimately competing uh, during the last 2022 season or 2023 season, whatever year it is. Um, and yeah, let me tell you, man, when I say, you say I went undefeated, I definitely did. And by that, I do in fact mean I was very defeated. <laughs> Un undefeated. There's like a little like whiteout at the beginning. Yeah, it's uh, it undefeated, <laughs> undefeated. I don't know. There's like the Simpsons lawyer meme there or something. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, man, it was a good time, and uh, I'm here back and better than ever, and ready for an even better time with our better format. Yeah, you better take all those lessons that you uh, got from duking it out with the world's best, because I'm here to take that title from you so that I can become the North American qualifier. Yeah, I learned stuff. <laughs> all right, well, what we're going to teach all of you from all the learning is the oh. changes that we had for this format via the votes that were yeah. sent by all the viewers last week. Uh, we had some pretty tame requests this time around, I think. Uh, chicken game being on the chopping block makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm very sad it's limited, but, you know, that one shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, honestly, it, it's way less of a problem card at one um, like, banning, obviously, is the easy answer, but, like, it, it, it's, like, like, what are you gonna do? Search it off of terraforming? Like, what, what do we have that's, like, two or, what is that? Is that three still? Uh, yeah, I think, I think we just haven't pulled a lot of terraformings, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think so, too. It's never really been a problem. I don't think it will be a problem until we get to, like, Spiral, possibly. Oh, woof. But, yeah, Resort will be a different story altogether, but for now, Chicken Game is just kind of there. Um, Kieran being saved, I'm very happy about that. I'm glad that we get to keep our funny horse around for a little longer. Kieran, um, yeah. And Quaking Mirror Force is now gone. Thank goodness. Yeah, that uh, card is donezo. So if you are, <laughs> if you uh, were worried about that with pendulums, then uh, worry about it no longer. Uh, half, half of the time I spent editing that video was just me fuming over all the times we couldn't do anything when Quaking Mirror Force was, <laughs> was in play. Ah, uh, yes. I remember it as if though it were yesterday. Quaking Mirror Force, I'll miss you. And your sweet ass. <laughs> Yo, they got that sweet dumpy uh, made they of really earth. They really do. Yes. As Clayman does. Yeah, there we go. See, there's the connective tissue. Thank there God. There is the connective tissue. And the tissue is also being connected via ads, Nova. Ooh. You you are, you are need to start doing more ad reads because your, your segues are divine. I'm just the best. What can I say? And who else is the best is Cyber Dragon Infinity. Um, a rank six light machine XEs. Yeah, um, I had a bit of a plan here. Um, both Infinity and Nova made it into the top, um, into the top section, and you pulled like several Infinities, or at least one. Right? I pulled at least one. Yeah, you pulled one, but we didn't have access to Nova, so I thought I could trick you into picking Nova, but you did not do that. I can't be fooled. I, when I, then I can't be fooled, much like I can't be buried, and fool and bury is foolish burial, which is the card that I added. <laughs> a living contradiction, this one. Yeah, um, well. So that's disappointing. Um, maybe we'll get you Maybe we'll get you next time. Yeah, maybe. But uh, regardless, the edge this time, of course, on Nova's end. Uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity, uh, on my end, foolish burial. Just to recap that one. Uh, now, the unbans, we had a lot of great picks. Um... <laughs> Funnily enough, though, despite Dante being asked for, despite getting a whole bunch of votes, what was it that you chose to unban this time around? Icarus Attack! Um, and the reason for that, man, you know, I just saw Icarus Attack, and I saw, you know, we're getting into a format where Wing Beasts are pretty good. Uh, I, I think Icarus Attack deserves to be back around for a little bit, I I even if it is just for this week. I think it's a pretty good form of removal, and I really just, bottom line, is uh, thinking about it in terms of balance... I didn't want to give you Dante, and I genuinely mean that. Cool, thanks. Great, great move, friend of mine, buddy old pal. I'm trying to make it easier for me. Bottom line here, all right? We're getting into the nitty gritty. We're getting into the meta game. All what do right? you think this is some kind of competition? I think it is a battle to the death. Whoa. By yeah. the end of by the end of this series, only one of us two will survive. 
It's true. And it who knows who it'll be. We're going to determine it via wins in Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm -hmm. And we're going to go into the determinative part right now. Uh, we'll see all of you in pack opening, and then we'll reconvene here so that we can all see the ass whooping I am about to deliver unto ye. Oh, and the winner pack was Megaton 2015. Uh, yeah, whatever. No one cares about that. What is up, gamers? That is correct. We are opening up brand new stuff this week. I am recording this on a filthy hot July 4th. Um, but nonetheless, we are going to get right in to the polls because these are going to be nice and cool no matter what the weather is outside. Is it frightful? Well, these polls are going to be delightful and we'll do, uh, see, we'll see, yeah. So, Ace Astral Pack 8, we're going to go ahead and get, uh, well, that ain't bad. Uh, that's actually quite good, if I had to be totally honest with you. What else can we get from there? Well... Infant, is, is Infusion limited? I think that might be limited. I can't quite remember, but I'm almost positive it is. So we'll see what's in the last pack then. Black Horn, Machine Dupe, and Eclipse. Actually, these are a pretty good. Uh, especially Eclipse. Having that um, massive flip down is going to be pretty good going forward. I don't remember if we have any Machine Dupe, but getting at least one is certainly not a bad thing. Uh, especially for the near future. So we'll see if we can work with that, and uh, let's get into the main event now. Before we do, here's Nova. Folks, it's so good to get a chance to crack open the 2015 Megaton. I, I thought we were going to be locked out of this forever, but, you know, the power of Unicorn Kieran cannot be underestimated, and we'll see if we can find them some good friends in this pack. Um, no, we won't actually. Uh, this pack is uh, hot garbage. Let's move on to the next one. Um, ba -ba -da bum Okay, another Anunku. We're maxed out on Anunkus, right? It's the Deviatis we need. I'm not gonna say no to Sinister Shadow games, though. I don't entirely know what our Shadal core is like, but that's a great card for it. Um, ba -da -ba -dum. let's go ahead and grab Ryza the Mega Monarch is very funny. Uh, get ready for <laughs> when flus become a thing. Uh, Sacrifice is helpful when it comes to making Cleese playable, but we need a lot of those, and we are not, we are nowhere near that. Um, can we get an Altair, maybe? Just, like, one Altair, please? That would be great. No. Okay, well, I guess that's on us. Uh, Karen Gorgon is a funny rank 4 to have, though. And we have another Mega Monarch in the form of Thestalos. Uh, well, the Monarch structure deck did just become, like, fully available, so we'll see what people start adding in. Anyway... Let's go ahead and move on to the main event and see what we get out of Ring Raiders. All right, now let's start raiding those wings, baby. I'm feeling good about this. It's Phantom Night time. We got Raid Raptors. As you guys know, I love me a good Raid Raptor. Icarus Attack is now unbanned, as Nova and I discussed at the beginning of the episode. So much good is to come. Let's see what we got going on here. So let's hope the first pack here we get... Tribute Lanius, baby. That is what I want to see. Revolution Falcon, Mimicry Lanius, Nest, PK Wing, Fuzzy Lanius, Singing Lanius. This pack alone makes me very, very happy. So when it comes to Wing Raiders, there really isn't a bad archetype. Uh, Raid Raptors is a very strong rank 4 strategy. Uh, Phantom Knights does the same for rank 3s. And Super Quants are just a big advantage engine. Uh, I think that's the hardest one to get together. Um, but we'll see... What the RNG has in store for us today. Um, Soul Shave Force is actually hilarious because that is a way to get into Infinity if we get a little funny. So I'll take that and the Magna Carrier. I mean, that's not like amazing. Needlebug Ness is good, though. That's a really good card from Milling. Uh, ooh! Now that I like to see. Okay, the fact that we even have one red layer is... In and of itself, not bad. Like, this is a pretty good card for starting off with. Even if you're not playing, like, Quants or anything like that. Uh, especially as we get way later on into Infernoble stuff in a few years. Like, this guy's not bad. Uh, Tribute Lanius. Okay, cool. That's uh, one of the core pieces for the deck. Uh, I'll also not say no to Phantom Knight's Wing. That's a solid card. Uh, four packs left. Woo, baby! Okay, that's an incredible pull. Break Sword 
is not only a very good extender for Phantom Knights, it is an incredible generic rank 3 with an incredible effect to be able to get rid of any problem cards in the field as well as itself. And if it has those Phantom Knights attached to it, we're going to go ahead and get an extension to get any rank 4 we want after Destruction. Mm, it's a good time. It's a good time all around. Astral Force is here again as well. How's it going, buddy? Uh, four Strix is our secret. Oh, okay. Um, we might be, we might be bird gaming. Bird gaming might be happening. Uh, second to last, we get another, another tribute radius. Oh, it's, it's Wing Beast time, baby. Uh, Ancient, Ancient Cloak. I guess we'll just have Ancient Cloak. We just got three Foolish Burial this set, right? Hmm. Hmm. It's never been more Wing Beast time than it is in this week. All right, last card. We get another Swallow's Nest and a Necro Vulture. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to front. These are pretty good. These are pretty good pulls, um, all in all. We got a lot of really good stuff here. A lot of stuff that I particularly like uh, for XCs, which is my favorite method of summoning. You guys know this. We got the Break Sword. We got a, honestly... We only really need one Ancient Cloak, but we have plenty of Raid Raptor main deck monsters here. Two Tribute Lanius is a very, very big deal. That's huge. Uh, we also have a way to get into Cyber Dragon Infinity now as well, which is excellent in Soul Shave Force. I'm thinking it's based. So we're going to go ahead and start cooking. I'll see you guys in just a little bit for the deck profiles. Let's stay tuned. Okay, last pack. Uh, the only thing that could make this better is if we somehow stumble upon a... Phantom Knights of Breaksword as, uh, like, a third secret. It was not. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think that was, like, the only thing we missed out on, right? Uh, two Fog Blades is very good. One Ancient Cloak isn't optimal, but we have multiple Foolish Burials. Not just in that, but in all the ragged gloves that we pulled. Uh, more than enough boots. Um, no Super Quants. Like, we have the generic, um rank four and rank three which is kind of all we needed um i think we kind of ran away with this pack holy cows um let's get into deck at it and see what we can cook up with all this stuff all right gamers you know the deal we are running it back with black wings in a big way i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit excited to play raid raptors but after getting into the polls and really looking at what we got the lack of force strix really hurts um, the chances of building like a legitimately viable uh, Black Wings, sorry, Raid Raptor deck. So instead of going Shun Kurosaki, uh, we will be doing Crow Hogan. But, you know, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to pretend for this episode that Crow Hogan does not exist. Uh, it's pretty similar for the most part to last episode's list. We're only running the one of Chicken Game this time around because it's limited. Uh, Swallow's Nest is on the menu as well as Icarus Attack this time as well uh, to kind of keep those uh, pesky uh, things on Nova's field at bay. Three Black Rowan because it's Black Rowan. And uh, two MST and the one of Twin Twisters because that's some of the best back row hate that we're going to get for a while. Especially if Nova's on pens again. We also have um, better Dark Hole right now in the form of the single interrupted Kaiju Slumber. I wish we had more, but one is going to have to do. Uh, two come among us and uh, one Gadarla uh, as a way we would summon Gadarla to our field and give Nova a uh, tasty little spider as well. Uh, we have a lot of graveyard hate this time around. I'm not sure what Nova's going to be bringing, but uh, I'm expecting some degree of Phantom Knight, Raid Raptor stuff, so I want to try to hate that graveyard as much as possible. We got Necro Valley, and we have three DD Crow just to do so in the side deck. And if he's on pens again, then Wavering Eyes is uh, here as well, because it's a pretty damn, uh, it's a damn good card in this uh, era of Yu-Gi-Oh. Deck Dev is also back. Uh, we, I think, ran this, or was it this or Crush card very early on? One of the viruses, uh, because we have plenty of Dark Monsters with 2,000 or more attack in our extra deck, uh, and... I mean, that just auto-wins games most of the time. And Grand Horror of Heaven in the third one in the side deck in case we need it, depending on what Nova is bringing to the table this time around. There's really not anything too different in the extra deck, um, but Evil Swarm Nightmare is here this time as well. Um, and we also are probably going to be going into Diamond a decent amount as well. And I'll be honest, most of the time, uh, Nightmare plus Diamond also just kind of auto-wins games. Uh, it is kind of an insane setup. Uh, especially against decks that are heavily reliant on dark effects. 
uh, as things like Phantom Knights and Raid Raptor, uh, namely, uh, both are. So that's kind of was my train of thought going into this episode. Um, again, we are not doing Raid Raptors. I'm very sorry to all the Noah Jank OGs out there. Uh, there just was no really good way to do it without Force Strix. Um, so, maybe we'll add that this time around, who knows, but what I do know is that it is Black Wings once again, baby, and we're gonna be going into this episode with a W, or walking out of it with a W, we're going into it with an L, uh, sadly. But, uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about my chances, and I think we're gonna really, uh, strike today. We're gonna, um, we're gonna Black Wings strike. Uh, strike. I don't know. There's, some, there's something. I I'm sure there's something there. Someone work it out in the comments and tell me. Well, if Wing Raiders is going to give us so many great winged beast monsters, we might as well mush them all together. Uh, today we're playing Birds of a Feather, a big combo between Black Wings and Raid Raptors. You've probably seen something like this if you played around at the time that these cards came out, so I don't want to get too focused on the individual cogs of this machine, but the idea is to play a whole bunch of dark winged beast monsters, a lot of level 4 ones to get good Xyz and Synchro monsters onto the board. The interesting things I want to point out here are the fact that we have Soul Shave Force. Uh, this was a funny way to access Cyber Dragon Infinity by way of putting Force Strix in Graveyard, and while we weren't able to get Noah Jank to pick Cyber Dragon Nova as his pick to get our Cyber Dragon Infinity, this does effectively cheat it into play anyway, so we still win out of that exchange. Uh, we're also playing double, uh, or rather Doom Double Force, not Double Doom Force. Uh, so if our rank 4 Raid Raptor monsters are destroyed, we can bring them back as rank 8 monsters. So they give us access to things like Prime Photon Dragon, which we can turn into Armed Photon Dragon, uh, or Tachyon Dragon if we feel like being uh, just that much of a butt. Uh, we've also included the Fog Blades, even though we don't have any... Phantom Knight monsters to use the graveyard effect for. It is still pretty good effect negation, and we have the readinesses in here just to help maintain our life points long enough to get our combo assembled. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this does. This is a pretty big threat in paper, and I'm looking to see how it does uh, in sealed outside of constructive. See so all of you on just a bit. And welcome back! Proggiest of polars, uh, we have forged the most powerful decks that Wing Raiders will allow. Uh, I am ready to throw the RPS. I'm ready to channel the power of the Xyz Dimension. Um, let's do this. Let's do this indeed. Let's see what we can rock with. I'm getting paper mode. I, I guess rocking with it was the incorrect choice. It was indeed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just take turn this time around. I think that's probably the smart maneuver. To oh, do you're going to go first. I am going to go first, uh, right. it turns out. And this is not a bad hand to do it with. So we're going to go standby main. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go and activate Black Whirlwind. Hey. Didn't Good see this coming. Any. Oh, yeah. We're back in action, baby. Uh, normal summon Chris and declare Black Whirlwind. Uh, go ahead. All right. Lots of things to add here. Um, and I think one of the best to add is going to be a good friend, uh, Bora the Spear. Whoa. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Um, so now we are going to do some thinking here. We're going to special summon Gladius the Midnight Sun. All right, all right. We're going to special summon Bora the Spear. Sick. And we're going to special summon Gale the Whirlwind. Just, just all of the, bring out the whole family. Why not, man? Why not? Why and now not? we're going to go ahead and do so, what Black Wings, of course, are known for. We are going to overlay um, an XC summon uh, into... Evil Swarm Nightmare. What in the world is happening here? A lot of good things are happening, though. But now we have a level 3 tuner and a level 3 non-tuner. We're going to go ahead and synchro these guys off as well. Uh, get things going. And we are going to go ahead and create a level 6 synchro, Golden Nova. We are going to create Goyo Guardian. Oh, we are pre errata son of a gun. Still pre errata It's going to be a minute. Good grief. Uh, and you're up, man. Yeah, for all of my, all of our new fans out there, um, yeah, Goyo Guardian used to be completely generic. Yeah, uh, the Earth Tuner Arata did not come in until, I think, Frain's era. Ugh. Heinous, heinous stuff going on here. No kidding. Okay, um, well, uh, no guesses as to what's going on here. I activate Black Whirlwind. Hey, welcome to the club. Hey, normal summon, sure, uh... That's a really good normal. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that's fine. Go for uh, it. Declare Black Whirlwind. 
Of course. What did he add? Uh, we're gonna grab um, Kalut the Moon Shadow. That's a strong one, folks. Um, get your clips ready. Go ahead. What's up? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, on resolution, we are gonna go ahead and try to uh, compost target Shura. Go ahead and keep the Black Wing's name off the field. Um, you know what? I guess we'll have to let that resolve. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's huh. uh, probably a safe bet. Um, I guess I have to pass. Go ahead. That, yep, that's Black Wings. <laughs> if they can't keep that name on the field, Black Wings really lose a lot of, uh, a lot of that. And, uh, now we're gonna roll some Insura and oh declare Black Whirlwind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, all right, feeling good. Uh, what are we at right now, anyway? Can I get lethal? You better not. I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so upset. Oh, that'd be so fucking funny if I can get lethal. Let and me then you just top sure off. Man, I, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Blah, blah. I'm gonna win at Bora the Spear here. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna special summon Bora the Spear. Mm hmm. Uh, we are gonna go to the battle phase here. Uh huh. Uh, 28. Uh huh. 18. Yep. And 17. Uh, okay. It was not worth it switching Nightmare to attack because it wouldn't have been lethal otherwise. But we are going to go to main two here. Uh-huh. We are going to overlay summon. Exceeds, as it were. Um, into Teller Knight Ptolemaeus. And go into Diamond. Yorgo. Dude, that sucks. That's, that sucks so bad. That's not great. I'm not going to lie. It's not, actually. It's the worst. This top deck Book of Moon, bro. Three of them. <laughs> Ideally. Compulse, huh? Yeah, co man. <laughs> it's not the Compulse. It's the top deck Shura that gets you into the, top the deck Constellar. The top deck Shura did a lot of good. I'm not going to front on that end. Yeah, you that better was not. Nice. Golly. Um, that was a nice feel. That was a good time. Normal Shura. Um, Welcome, Shura. Declare Whirlwind's effect. Uh, nothing on that. I mean, I got a dark monster, uh, and I got a special summon. That's the only interruptions you can, I can, you can see here. Goyo Guardian is strong, but he ain't really doing anything right now. Um, Yeah, Gale. That makes sense. Okay. Does not have a once per turn uh, sure. restriction and no once per chain restriction. So I would have to have four dark monster effects. True. Um, Very fair. Special summon Gale. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Nightmare. Yeah. Um... No, whatever, it's fine, whatever. God. Holy shit, wow, we! All right, um, I am going murder mode. I am going, uh, no jokes, no bits. I'm absolutely oh, wow. zero bits. Um, my hatred is beyond comprehension. Um, we will begin with Fool's Burial. That is a very strong start. Uh, all you, man. Get that foolish on. No ash until uh, next year? Um, we are getting pretty close, if nothing else. We're getting very close. We keep getting like closer and closer each each time we make that joke. Um, let's go ahead and send a grave uh, Fuzzy Lanius. Oh, Raid Raptors. And we will, uh, yeah, I figured, you know, we might as well get all the Dark Wing Beasts together for one final ride. And by the final ride, I mean the first ride. Yeah, well, considering how the fan base tends to be, it also might be the final ride. Let's let's be real on that front. Um, okay, let's go ahead and activate Fuzzy Lanius' effect to add another Fuzzy Lanius to hand. Absolutely, was sent by a card effect. Wah. Okay. Uh, normal summon Vanishing Lanius. That's a good normal. Yeah, go for it. Uh, declare effect. What are we specialing from the hand? Uh, Fuzzy Lanius. No. Oh. Fuzzy Man. Fuzzy indeed. We're getting real fuzzy here, guys. Um... Okay, let's go overlay. Making four Strix. That is an incredibly strong extender. Uh, and we will detach Vanishing for a search. Yeah, go for it. Um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, four Strix is really an incredible extender. Probably like one of the like most ideal combo extenders a deck could probably have. Yeah, it, it, it's absolutely ridiculous that they you 
can get away. I with mean, this. the 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 thing was like back in back in like what Luna Orcus was like making this, and then like adding Zephros, and then doing stuff, and then discarding Zephros with the danger, and then like Zephros in the grave, bounce back Luna Light Tiger, good times, e exceedingly great times. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna add Tribute Lanius to hand. Okay. Uh, we'll set a card and pass it over to you. Ah, yes. Black Wings. And Raider Raptors. You're really just doing uh, Dark Wing Beast stuff here. I've certainly uh, brought the 5D's power of the two characters that... Shay and Crow never dueled each other, did they? They did. So there was a duel between Shun and Crow during the... Um, I don't remember the name of the tournament. I think it was the Friendship Cup in Arc 5. Uh, they had a duel that lasted a few episodes. And... Um, it's pretty bullshit. I never was a big fan of that duel. That was during the Synchro arc that uh, I am famously not a fan of. And um, Crow ended up winning that episode. And that always kind of bummed me out because I was like, man, Sean is like the rising star. And they're letting like Crow Hogan like go, well, that doesn't work for me, brother. And then like just kind of like do the leg drop and go over. And it's like, come on, man. We're, we're really going to do this? Just the politic for Blackwing sales? I could keep going into it. We're just going to go ahead and go to main phase. Yeah. Uh, we're going to activate Black Whirlwind. Uh, go ahead. Normal Summon, sure of the Blue Flame. Yeah, yeah and, there we go. Uh, we're going to declare Black Whirlwind. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Uh, we are going to Special Summon uh, Gale the Whirlwind. Do you have anything on res? Uh, no. Perhaps a Droll and Lockbird. <laughs> nope. Right, I have Drolls, I have Lockbirds, but I have neither of both of them. Well, in that case, we're just going to Special Summon Gale the Whirlwind. Already. Uh, we're going to declare Gale targeting Force Strix. They are halved. They are halved. Uh, special Bora. Yeah. Special Chris. Yeah. Uh, proceed to the battle phase. Alrighty. Okay, we are going to attack Force Strix with Bora. I'll take 700. 700. Uh, 19. Uh-huh. 18. Reverse Gore's order here. Uh-huh. And 13. Okay. Uh, then we are going to activate Swallow's Nest, uh, targeting uh, Bora the Spear. Mm hmm. All right. We're going to special summon a Black Wing that had the same, or any Wing Beast that had the same level. Um, and I think that's going to be, uh, let's see. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and bring out uh, Chris the Krakadon. Why not? Alrighty. And uh, attack directly with Chris the Krakadon. I'll take 19. And had I another uh, Chris here, another Swallow's Nest in hand, that would have been game, but uh, did not. Yeah. Uh, we'll go spooky. to main. We'll go to main two here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. A lot of options here. No cowboy, in, sadly, but uh, that would be really funny if I did. Um, in a very funny way. We're gonna go ahead and overlay. Of course, just uh, play it safe here. Uh, we are gonna go for Ptolemaeus. Anything on summon? No. All right, we're going to make Diamond, then. Yeah. Okay, then we are going to Synchro Shokan uh, into a level 7. Of course, there's no restrictions on that end, so we're just going to go ahead and make Yazi. Alrighty. Uh, and... Yeah, your go. Oh, this Ptolemaeus thing is so annoying. Uh... Yeah, I don't see Ptolemaeus staying at all, I'll be real. Like, Diamond is annoying, but Ptolemaeus is making all this possible. Um, it's just it Zeus. Destroy as well. It does destroy. It's a problem. Just dark hole, bro. Um, let's go ahead and normal summon tribute Lanius. Okay, nope. Um, no, that doesn't work summon. because I can't even use its effect this turn. Um, no, you could. I mean, realistically. No, no, I, I, I literally can't. Neither oh, well, player can send cards from the deck to the grave. <laughs> that's true! Let's go top dog duck stellar diamond! Uh, oh, shit. Nest. Yeah, go for it. Good card. I like that card a lot. Four, level four winged beast monster. Um. Ooh, Mimicry, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so this is a really good episode. Um, let's go ahead and ban, um... Oh my god! Uh, Diamond, because, yeah, we just can't do anything right now with that. I just, um... Let's get the votes in for that. 
I just got out of my chair. I can't believe this. I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I, I, yeah. Okay, what was the hand at least? Uh, double, double gladius, double gladius. Oh, mimicry. No man. other, none of my, no! none of my uh, uh, interactive traps that I cited in. Uh, nothing. Dip, dip diddly. Uh, okay, cool. So, um, how are your pulls? Oh! Oh, 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 pretty good. All right, sweet. Only thing I didn't get that I really wanted was four tricks because I really wanted to play raid reactors, which I saw that you got. Yeah, no, nah, I, I was I was really looking forward to using them actually. Yeah. Hey, you did. You did. What no, you I, I did not. Did not use a single one. That's fair. I, no, that's not fair. I used Strix. You're right. You're you right. did, in fact, use a Strix. Would you like to know, by the way, what the car last card in my head and hand was? Yeah, in case you What was it? Cool. Awesome. Great. Glad to know that my board would have been incredibly put together. Mm. <laughs> um, neat. So, um... <laughs> Uh, ads, ads that you want to have, uh, what'd you, what do you want to pull, what do you want to um, have, have to pull here? Huh? Oh yeah, ads. All right, let's see. Yeah. That's a thing, isn't it? Um, uh -huh. so, um, yeah, I, um, I'll be real. I think this is going, Black Wings in some capacity are going sometime soon. Um, I like them. I, I would like Wing Beast to stay. Honestly, the problem here was Ptolemaeus more than anything. Uh, I didn't hear your ban. I'm assuming you want Ptolemaeus gone. I, 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 yeah, that's go away. I don't want that anymore. It was yeah. Diamond is an, again. Diamond is very annoying. Uh, that is not incorrect, but it's only summonable because of Ptolemaeus. Uh, very important there. Um, but for my ad, um, I am actually gonna go to bat here for. Let's get a little bit crazy here, Nova. Let's do some non-targeting removal. Let's get. Some, 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 some monsters. That's actually, no, wait, we already have. Actually, do we have Ignister Prominence? Uh, I, I believe say we Ignister voted Prominence. in Ignister Prominence. I think okay, well, never mind then. Fuck it. Uh, let's get the other guy. Dinister Power. The Fusion? The Fusion, yes. I could the one go that, that. Um, you know, Dinister Power attributes itself to Special Summon itself from the extra deck. Um, and it's a really cool looking card. Does a lot of really, really cool stuff. I believe it summons from Grave. Um, I believe... I would really like Dinister Power, personally. I think that's a fun boss monster. Um, encourages a lot of play that, uh, makes some really neat little inboards. And, uh, yeah, I, I just, in general, like the, uh, the Draco Slayers, so. Yeah, I wouldn't say no to that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm going to bat for Phantomized Ancient Cloak. It was, like, the only, um... I guess, no, do I want Ancient Cloak or do I want Breaksword? I actually want Breaksword. I want Breaksword. Um, as far as... Phantomites. Did you not pull any main deck Phantomites? I pulled all of them. I have all of them. Oh, but you mentioned Ancient Cloak. I didn't know if that... Okay, never mind. I have a single copy of it, so that's why... Oh, I'm I... That's so funny. I actually also have a single copy of Ancient Cloak. God. That's very um, funny. But you can use things like Foolish Burial, which you brought to three this week, and you can use Ragged Gloves, so you can effectively yeah. have three copies. Oh, whatever you want. we're entering Hell format real quick. I can feel it on the horizon. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that I wouldn't be against that either. Um, Alrighty, so, uh, uh, unbans. Uh, I want to unban Dante. Let's get Dante back in here. I am not against that in any capacity. Uh, it's not my choice. Uh, it's your choice. Uh, I would not be against Dante. Uh, we will see what the votes we get are, but I really don't think it'll matter because Dante will end up cracking the top, and uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll end, add up ending him, end up adding him. So, uh, there you go. And uh, I think we're still in the uh, 2015 tens for the winter pack, I think. I don't think there's anything else sparkly. Uh, we've actually added several new side sets that we can vote in for now. Oh, no um, shit. Okay, the, well, hit me. Uh, I'll be opening up OTS Pack 1. Uh, this oh, is we're graduating from Astral Packs! Yeah, we have moved away from that. Uh, great cards in this set. Uh, the ultimate rares are pretty great. Uh, Dark Law is a potential add in that one. Woo! Uh, that is a but, strong one. But it's ultimate, so we're not exactly... Uh, that's not super... Well, you know, it depends um, on your OTS. If they weigh the packs, then, I mean, you're probably fine. Shut your mouth. Um, things like Cyber Dragon Nova are in there, so we might need to vote that in. Um, Imperial Iron Wall for fun. Uh, Dinoster Power is in there for oh, people like funny. me who want to get it. Uh, and also Michael the Arch Lightsworn, which was previously a structure deck exclusive Lightsworn oh. Sacred Monster, uh, potentially being able to be added into our pool. So I'm looking forward to that. 
Okay. Uh, outside of that, there are also two new side sets that you can choose from. One of them being Millennium Pack. So if you want to get Winged Dragon of Raw, Immortal Phoenix, and all of hey. uh, Melvin's cards, you can grab that. Who yeah. can pass up Left Arm Offering and Card of Demise, right? Those are some really good cards. Those are actually not bad cards. And as we uh, start to enter a place where Cosmo becomes more and more playable, Card of Demise would actually not be a bad idea. Um, but the other one is one that I'm going to very much be upset that I'm missing out on. Premium Gold, Infinite Gold is now available for the winners to have voted in as their bonus pack. Now that is such juicy. things as all the good Cosmo reprints, mm. new Phantom Knight cards, uh, mm. number 38 Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. Oh, that's a big deal. Uh, Stardust Charge Warrior, very strong level 6. Um, all of the Malabronx reprinted. Uh, I believe Beatrice shows up in here. Yeah, I believe she does. Um, uh, I remember so... at least seeing... This is like that era of like weird golds where they had like the gold framing and like scratchy lettering, right? Um, I believe so. The, yeah, the, I never the, liked the those The premium golds. gold rare instead of just gold rare. I never liked those golds. Not all my right. thing. Um, but uh, damn, a lot of good shit in this one. I think I'm going to go for premium gold, infinite gold. I'm looking at all these reprints. Yeah, it's kind of it's hard to pass that up. It's just a bonkers set. And I agree. And speaking of bonkers sets, next week, Shining the Horizon. Victories. Shining Victory. I'm glad you said it because I didn't know what it was. I was just kind of leading in for you to say it. Um, let's go ahead, Nova, and talk about all the wonderful cards in Shining Victories. Um, so I think the funny thing is that didn't we vote in Blue Eyes in, like, a very early episode? Oh, God. Did I we? think we did for, like, a for like a Kaiba bit. So... We probably did. Uh, we actually have access to the normal monsters required to make all of the Blue Eyes support in this set live. Uh, White Ooh, Sword of yeah, Ancients, the Eyes of Blue monsters... Um, but it's not just that. It's also uh, the uh, Luna Light cards. We get Wolf and Tiger this set. Um, Tiger. We, we were just talking. I was just talking about that earlier. Tiger is such a good extender um, for a Luna Light, man. And just uh, a great card in its own right. Bring it at three, please. Uh, Amorphages show up this set, but there's no way either of us are playing Amorphages. That Ugh. cannot work. Um, Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon shows up this set. So the Woo! last Strixes become a lot more valuable. Uh, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon is a oh, yeah, very baby. powerful card. Normally, very. you play it by cheating it out with things like Ultimate Zolkin, but neither of us have access to that. So I'm looking forward to seeing how exactly we would make that, if we even pull it. Yeah, there's a lot of really good high rarity stuff in here while we're kind of talking about this. Uh, as far as secrets are concerned, we see the debut of Ghost Reaper. Uh, she's a decent hand trap in her own right, but uh, I don't think any of us would really... Have, I mean, maybe we would. We play pretty similar extra decks for the most part, so that actually might come into play if either of us pull, like, exactly one. Uh, we also see the debut of another Mirror Force, the Dual Link Staple in Drowning Mirror Force at a high rarity oh, of secret. Oh, man. If you thought the gr uh, Grounding Mirror Force was going to be annoying. Yeah, no kidding. At least that um, clears also, the field, actually, so maybe not. You're right. And there's also a lot of really good uh, low rarity stuff in this set, uh, like World Carrot Weight Champion, who is a really good plant extender. Uh, really good. We'll, Lunalite Tiger being a common is kind of absurd. Uh, and we also have Speedroid Denden Daiko Duke at a rare, who's a very good playmaker for the Speedroids. Oh, Denden Daiko Duke. Denden Daiko Duke. Uh, Black knew Wings her. get a bit of a boost. Uh, Chidori the Rain Sprinkling is pretty cool. That is a very good one, yeah, for sure. Chidori is uh, a really, really strong synchro. Uh, I believe 7, right? Level 7? Mm hmm. Yeah, so another. Uh, Another classic you can bring out, uh, one of the Arc 5 era Assault Black Wings, and uh, pretty good in its own right. But other than that, man, it's going to be a good-ass set. Cattle Call is also here at a super. That is actually really funny considering uh, the decks we were just playing. Yeah, no kidding, dude. Um, but yeah, I don't really know if there's anything else. On honestly, Shining Victory is not as explosive of a set as previous ones, uh, but there are some things to look out for that could be game determinative, but you're only going to find out by tuning in next time. For progression pulls. Noah Jank, how do you want to play us out? Blackwing call! 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 Call!